Good morning, guys. Um, hope everybody's doing good. It's about 4.09 in the a.m. and I am up. And I just want to tell you guys about my first experience in my Gen Con class. Um, all was well. It was a good day. It was a tiresome day, even though we sat at a desk all day, really. We just did a whole bunch of paperwork, a whole bunch of paperwork. Learned about different aspects in construction. Um, okay, when I got there, I knew where the place was. It was about an hour away. So, I got there pretty fast. Um, I stopped at Walmart and I got some boots. I got some work boots and maybe tomorrow I'll show them to you. They're over there, but I don't feel like getting up to get them. But I got some work boots yesterday. Um, I went to Walmart. I think it was probably pushing like 7 o'clock in the morning. Went to Walmart, got the boots. You know, of course, I'm looking at the price of the boots. I got a cheap pair of boots, like $40 or whatever. But they they nice. They look like, <clears throat> they're, they're nice boots for Walmart in 40 bucks. Um, got the boots. Um, left Walmart, got the boots. Uh, went to the job. I got there. There's a lot of people outside waiting, mostly mainly men. So I'm just looking like, okay, where's the women? Because I don't want to be the only girl in the whole class. But if I had to be, it's okay, too. I worked around a lot of contractors before. So that's nothing to me. I could work with any in any kind of environment. So I got there. It was guys waiting outside. Um, then they opened the door, I think, like 7.45. But you know, you got to be there on time. Because if you're not there on time, they tell you to go home. So... Got inside. It's a nice building. I think they rebuilt the building. It's like a brand new type um, construction training center. So it's really nice, but it's huge. Um, got in. Um, there were three instructors in my classroom. It was a really big classroom. The only thing I didn't like about the classroom was it was cold in there. They had it freezing all day. So, I'm, you know, we like, it's cold. You know, most of the black people in the class are like, it's cold in here. And then the white guys are like, oh, my God, we love it. So, I'm like, okay, well, y'all like to be in the cold. We like to be warm, but all is well with the world. There's nothing I can do about that. So, he he's not trying to make it comfortable. He's like, what do you think it's going to be when you get out there in construction? You're going to be out there in the cold and everything. I said, okay, you know, you got that one. All right, you paying me all that big dollar, I can... I could stay in the cold for eight, nine, ten hours a day and do what I got to do to get that money. But so he was like, you know, what do you think you're going to do when you're out in the freezing cold? I'm like, you got that. You got that. You got that. So, yeah, we had three instructors and then one of the other um, men had came in. I guess he's like over the apprentice because we're called apprentices right now. So the guy that's over everybody, he's just like mean. He's He's not mean, but he's like real stern with everything like you know i don't got time for the bs you late you're done you this you're done you're that you're done he just ain't playing no mess which most of them are like that which i can understand being in the business and you're training people you want to train people that are eager to be there and want to be there and want to do the job and want to succeed in this he don't they don't got time for slackers they don't have time for people st stuck staggering in a minute late they don't want to hear that because if you mess up you come in late you're done if you, you know, sleeping in class, you're done. So they don't want to hear that because they have a job to do. And they don't want to come in dealing with grown people that can't um, get it or keep it together. So I'm like, okay, I understand. But he's he's really tough. So he don't play no crap with nobody. Um, you know, it was just a teaching day. We had our booklets, all aspects of construction. Um, this is a lot of reading. Um, we... You know, they broke the ice. Like, you know, when you're in, like, school or whatever, they broke the ice. You know, talk to your neighbor. See, find out any stuff about your neighbor. And then at the end, we all talk about, to get to know each other a little bit better. So everybody went around. Um, it was about probably 30, I'm thinking maybe 25 to 30 people in the classroom. Most were men. Most were white men. But there was a couple brothers in there. And... It was three women, myself and two other women. One white, one woman was a white woman. The other woman was a black lady. But you could tell they were probably, they were older. They were probably in their 40s or push 50 or something like that. So I, I guess I'm the youngest female in the room, um, black female. 
it's another, you know, it's another black older woman and a white lady. And, and we connected more because, you know, we're in the classroom with a whole bunch of men. So we were like, you know, women, we kind of, we want to be, you know, we need the energy. We have to be the, you know, let's be close together because we're women. So, and we're in here with a whole bunch of men. All they did was they taught, but they cursed the whole time. They were talking and they were just using foul language the whole time. But if I think that was bad, we talk get to these construction sites when I'm really dealing with these um, contractors because everyone's saying they're like, "Yo, well, I'm telling you right now, these contractors are assholes. They they cuss. They but they'll respect you because you're a woman, especially if you're a woman and you're you're nice and they they like you. Um, they're not going to give you any kind of hard crazy jobs. They're not going to put me on the um, what do you call it? Them big giant crazy machines because most men will, most of the men there will step up and help you." on the simple fact and strength that we're women so they're looking like she can't you want to help me come on you can help me so I'm down with that I mean hey anything to make my job easier I don't mind getting 20 something dollars an hour for someone else to help me do something which is fine because most of the men will come into come to the women's beck and call they're like oh let me help you sure sure what else um yeah, so that was pretty much the training day. We got out at 4.30. Um, we had three instructors, and it was just construction. You know, the introduction to construction and the blue and red tape um, classes that I'm going to have to take my entire career in construction. I'm going to have to continue to meet a certain amount of hours in order for me to go to certain construction sites to work there. I have to have certain trainings to work there. These contractors are not going to pay. I mean, these are million dollar companies. These men are not going to pay us 20 something dollars an hour. I'm talking about the people that are starting out. They're not going to pay us that much money to come there and sit down or, or to be BSing around because they can call the next person on the list who want to work. So, um, yeah, I mean, that was just it. The first day was just introduction to construction and um that's it you know working under any kind of weather conditions I mean I have to start getting my information from the source which are the training center instead of asking people because sometimes when you ask the person things they could give you the wrong information so let me get the information straight from the source you know even though I have two brothers that are in the industry they work so much I don't I haven't really really been talking to them so I want to get the information from the source. Um, I could just pick up the phone and call the apprentice supervisor, which is my boss, and ask him. Um, what else? We had free lunch. We had free lunch while we were there for these two weeks. So it's actually an 80-hour training that I don't think we ever have to get again. And, of course, we have to be... Um, they want us to have our CPR. Um, this is a whole bunch of training. When I get the book, and then at the end of the class, I actually have to buy a book, which is $300 that I have to get in order for me to come back and take classes. So for me to take these classes, I have to have this book, which costs $300, which to me is an investment to what I'm getting back. It's a good investment to what you get back. It's a great investment. And then I think at the end of the class, somebody was telling me that they're going to give us some kind of stipend, like some kind of money. They give you stipends for child care. So I'm blessed. I'm very, very blessed to be in this position. And I'm happy and I'm looking forward to my future in construction. So um, uh, the atmosphere was pretty chill. I think today we're going to be out in the field, which is out in the, you know, out, out in the, out in the um out at the training center, actually, you know, pushing wheelbarrows and all that stuff. So, um, I think that's what we're going to be doing. We have to learn a lot of stuff. It's not just road work. I think they're going to, like, train us on how to cut steel and all this stuff. Because I guess, you know, under the street, there's, 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 um, there's, there's pipes and stuff. So, we're learning all that stuff. And I'm, I'm blessed and happy to, um, to be able to, to, to do something different in my life. I'm not young, 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 but I'm not old, so I'm I'm still young enough to learn new skills, and my body is still in shape enough to to be able to um to deal with it and um to prosper in it, and um, the money is amazing, and I'll be basically set for the rest of my life if I stick with it, and I plan on sticking with it. You know, being a single mom, it's going to be rough, but guess what? I'm getting that money that I'm able to cover 
all, it all. The busiest time for contractors are in the summer and spring and fall. But, you know, it's starting to dry up right now. So he's like, oh, you guys are probably not going to be getting a call until, like, January. Because, number one, they don't want to pay you guys the, the holiday bonus and all that stuff. Even though I probably wouldn't get a bonus anyway, even if I caught out to a job. Because to get something from a job, you have to put in something. They're not going to just say, I'm going to give Gina a bonus. She's only been here two weeks. I'm going to give her a bonus. That's not going to happen. So... They don't want to pay us the holiday stuff. They don't want to pay us this, so which is understandable, you know. So the, the the benefits are just amazing. We get two pensions, you know, four hundred one k's. Insurance is just over the top, so it's all worth it. I just have to stay in shape, and well, I'm going to definitely get in shape doing that type of work. But I just have to stay in shape and keep my mind sane enough to to deal with the BS that I'm going to have to deal with out there in the field because. I'm going to deal with a lot of men, a lot of men that use found language, a lot of stuff that I probably don't really want to hear too much, but, you know, me being a woman, hey, you know, it is what it is. And the construction sites are going to be probably just loud. It's going to be loud out there. There's going to be cars flying by. So that's the situation. But let me get this video uploaded because um, for some reason it takes forever to upload. Um, the video I did yesterday morning, I think it took like an hour to upload it so and i'm talking on my ipad so um yeah there's more to come and i'm excited about my series in construction that's what i'm going to call this so um i might make another a whole another separate channel um talking about my experience with construction because really this is kind of like my main channel which um it's kind of like a talky could be vloggy channel um, I do want to incorporate some cooking and stuff, but right now I'm just kind of like, I need better material. I need a iPod, I, I need a tripod that's actually really tall. So there's a lot coming to my channel, but right now I, I think I might make a second channel, um, talking about my experience in construction for women or men, but preferably women that want to get into the field and, you know, give you all the pointers and my training experience. So I hope you guys stay tuned. Um, I'm getting more comfortable talking in front of the camera. I actually like it. Um, so you guys have a blessed day. And I'm going to continue to get my kids ready for school and get dressed and go on out to the field. And maybe tomorrow I'll show you guys my boots. So y'all have a blessed day. Bye.